Teacher sees her best student begging for alms. I have to save my little sister, he says. No matter how hard we fight, some troubles just don't end, thought Ronnie. He was sitting on a bench by the roadside curb, lost in deep. Tears slowly rose in his eyes. I gotta do this, sorry mom, he sobbed. Ronnie was a baseball fanatic who never missed practice after school, but it meant nothing compared to his ailing sister and his mother's struggles to afford her treatment. Chelsea had been so sick the entire previous week and here Ronnie was collecting alms in his cap to buy medicine for her. But what didn't make sense to Christy was why Ronnie was begging in the first place. He was her best student and the wealthiest boy in class. It didn't add up why a boy who often stepped down from his posh SUV at the school gate was now stranded alone, begging for change from random passers-by. Where are his parents? What happened to Ronnie? Christy was puzzled. Good lord, why is my best friend's son begging for alms? She wondered. Christy and Ronnie's mom Brenda were best friends through thick and thin, but only until Ricky entered their lives. Ricky was Brenda's boyfriend who she married against Christy's wishes. I hope you're not heading on the wrong track by marrying him, Christy warned her. Marriages are made in heaven, but I fear you will turn yours into hell by marrying that rich flirt. Brenda was blindly in love with Ricky. At that time, all of her best friend's advice seemed useless. She turned a deaf ear and married Ricky, causing a rift in her friendship with Christy. The two friends had never met like before and only talked to each other regarding Ronnie's grades because Christy was his class teacher. I hope everything's alright, she wondered and approached him. Ronnie, what are you doing here? Christy's voice startled him. Miss Jones? Ronnie turned pale and speechless. Christy saw he was neatly dressed and well-groomed. She hoped it was a joke or a prank kids his age often pulled, but it wasn't. Her class topper was indeed begging for alms. Ronnie, what are you doing here? Why are you with that cap full of coins? You should be at home, she worried. The boy looked up at her with big teary eyes. No, Miss Jones, I need money for my little sister's treatment. She's been in all week and mom's been struggling for money. Christy was shocked. She knew how rich Ronnie was in their entire class and it would be some joke that he had become so impoverished overnight. I don't understand. What happened, Ronnie? What do you mean your mom's struggling for money? I was looking for a job, but nobody wants to hire me, said Ronnie. They sent me away saying there are no jobs for nine-year-olds like me. Christy pursed her lips and sat beside him, patting his shoulder. Tell me what happened and where's your mother, she asked, unprepared for what she would hear next. A few days ago, I heard mom fighting with dad on the phone. She was asking him for money for my sister's treatment. She started shouting at him when he refused, said Ronnie. But why would your dad deny to pay for your sister's treatment? Christy asked. It's because dad no longer lives with us. He left us long ago and never talked to us. He took most of our things like our car, revealed Ronnie. That's why I walk to school nowadays, he said. Christy didn't know all this and was pretty shocked. After his dad Ricky was gone, Ronnie and his mother struggled a lot. Their misery rose when Chelsea's sister fell ill and needed urgent treatment. So Ronnie took it on himself to support his mother just like how she'd been supporting them but he did it without her knowledge because he was afraid she wouldn't allow him to beg. This would have taught her a lesson. I warned her about marrying Ricky, but she never listened, thought Christy teary-eyed. She realized she couldn't just watch her best friend struggle and decided to help. But Brenda won't take a penny from me. How do I help her? She wondered and a plan immediately came to her mind. The next evening, students and staff flocked around the reception area waiting for their turn to put money into a box with the inscription, Save a Little Girl's Life. It was Christy's plan. She organized a fundraiser at school and it worked. Christy had even donated a considerable chunk of her salary to the cause. I don't know how to thank you, Miss Jones, cried Ronnie as Christy gave him the box full of money. Later that evening, Ronnie gave the funds to his mother. She was shocked and asked him how he managed to collect so much. My teacher, Miss Jones, help me, Mom, he said, shedding tears of joy. Moved by her best friend's help, Brenda invited Christy for dinner the next day. She apologized for arguing and choosing her estranged husband, Ricky, over her 10 years ago. Sometimes we take a lot of time to mend our misunderstandings, but it's better late than never, laughed Christy, hugging her best friend following their heartwarming reconciliation.